Hey, what's going on guys? I'm recording this because I was at the gym and I got a call from a representative over at Graystar, which is one of the management companies for one of the buildings that we're in. And their call was about them finding out that we have Airbnbs in their properties. Um, as you'll learn in the course, we don't necessarily advertise the fact that we're doing Airbnb. We present ourselves as corporate housing companies solely because of the fact that they tend to um, have preconceived notions of what Airbnb is. They don't really take into consideration how you operate as a business. So we don't really disclose it. And of course, in time, they'll find out that it's actually Airbnb. So we kind of anticipate this happening. Um, in this case, now we're prepared and, and, and speaking to whomever we need to speak to, to have uh, give them peace of mind that whatever preconceived notion they have about Airbnb is not something that they have to worry about, that we take the proper actions that they normally take with their own residents and maybe even take it steps further. Um, so yeah, keep it locked. Um, haven't met with them, haven't really talked about it. They just sent me an email asking for the documentation of waivers that we received um, and then we'll go from there. So we are back just a couple hours after I recorded that last bit that you guys finished seeing. Um, I did get a call back from management from that building that I told you guys about. And this is pretty much how the conversation went. So she called me. And I sent over before she called me. Actually, I sent over the document that we had already written waivers for to go ahead and proceed with, um, you know, our operation and how we we uh, conduct business. Of course, we don't you know, go into these deals mentioning, hey, we're doing Airbnb. That's just not something that we do because of the simple fact that Airbnb has its own stigma. People have certain already preconceived notions of what Airbnb is and so forth and so on. And of course, we don't want that to represent how we operate. So that's why we never even say that we're doing Airbnb. We kind of just let it be. And whenever they find out, they find out. But by that point, at least we already have all of our ducks in a row. So in this case, we sent over the document. She called back about an hour or two later. But in a nutshell, we covered all of our bases and she had nothing to really say. So what what she was expressing was that they as a management company do not allow Airbnb or they're not condoning Airbnb, pretty much saying that they don't want any part of Airbnb, which is understandable. Most companies don't. We know this, right? So um, after expressing that, she said that we do like corporate housing companies, which is what we go into it as. Um, and of course, we, we would want to continue doing business that way. But of course, because Airbnb doesn't do background checks and all these things that we actually um, do, um, we wouldn't want to put ourselves in that situation. And that's where I kind of interrupted and told her that we are going, we, are, we do do um, a background checks on all of our guests and we could obviously send over the background checks uh, to them and that uh, even we'll take it a step further and have them do the background checks. We'll send them the information for each one of our guests. And then of course I told her, this will obviously be more work for you guys, but if that's what makes you feel comfortable, then we could go about it that way. Whatever makes you guys feel comfortable, you guys are our priority. Um, first comes you as our partners, then our neighbors, and then our guests in that order simply because we're gonna deal with you on a day-to-day -day basis. Our neighbors are most likely gonna be there often as well. So we're gonna make sure that they, they're taken care of and they're not being interrupted in their day-to-day -day life by our guests. And then lastly, our guests, because they're gonna come and go a lot faster. But long story short, at the end of it all, she did ask me, so what do you think? After she proposed of pretty much parting ways with the whole Airbnb thing and just focusing on getting business pretty much outside of Airbnb, which makes absolutely no sense because who cares where the cust customer is coming from? At the end of the day, um, what matters is the actual individual who's going to be there. But um, she said, what did I think? And I told her, honestly, I mean, we came into it with already. We have our business structure. We have our business uh, plans and how we operate and I would be honest and I, I don't think we can make any alterations to that simply because now you decided or you guys as a management decided that that's not something you want to partake in it's kind of too late in an essence in essence is what I told her and then I went into detail as to why it is so is so beneficial to them to partner with someone like me dealing with one person versus dealing with five 
or however many units we end up getting uh, tenants. So, so instead of dealing with 10 tenants, it deal with me and I deal with all of my guests or my, my team does um, and so forth and so on. I let her know that we got cameras on them pretty much gave her the peace of mind and understanding that we're not just a Joe Blow trying to get uh, units and then list them on Airbnb. That we actually do have a you know real tight ship and tight operation. And I even went as far as telling her, you probably don't run a, as tight of a ship as we do, which is understandable because you have people long-term and we have to be more proactive in making sure that we don't get the wrong guests in there. So that's why we put the different things in there. So we have noise detection, we have cameras, we do the background checks, so forth and so on. So I kind of sold her on all of that. Um, and after all of that, uh, that was said, I was on the phone with her for about 20 minutes or so, kind of giving her my spiels. First time she ever heard about this. I kind of go into these things knowing that this conversation will take place sometime in the future we're just prepared for it but we don't present it from the very beginning so after i said i shared all of that information towards the end of it in a nutshell she was like um okay as long as you guys provide us with you know the background checks which happen to be the main concern the background checks um which is not a problem at all we can do that that was her main concern. I told her, listen, you can go into the building next door because we have eight units in there and you can speak to management to them, to, to management with them. We've been with them for over a year. You can talk to them and see how we run our business. If they have any issues, we've been with you guys since December. So that's basically four months or so. And you haven't heard from any of our guests or any problems or anything like that. So do whatever you need to do so that you can feel comfortable. Let me know what I could do so that I can feel comfortable, so that you can feel comfortable rather. And then we'll go from there. So she ended up with the conversation at the very end. She said, okay, so now that that's out of the way, what can we do to get those eight units from that other building here? I was like, what? So I knew I had, you know, this thing down packed, but you know, at the end of the day, you never know how it's really going to turn out. Obviously, you hope for the best. I have all my ducks in a row. But for her to say, how can we get those units here was just the ultimate W. Simply because of the fact that like, not only is she okay with us having Airbnb there, but now she's asking for more. She's asking for more. So this is all that we're going to be teaching about in the course. This is a huge headache. This is one of the reasons why most people don't, you know, go forth with this business or they're scared to because they don't want to deal with management and they don't want to deal with this, that, and the third. Those are just, you know, false, um, you're just scared for no reason. As long as you do things the right way, at a minimum, worst case scenario, I'll tell you what worst case scenario would have been here. At a very minimum, we would have had to stay there towards uh for the remainder of the lease and then they would not renew us but if we did things the right way and we gave them the peace of mind and we told them that they're our partners and we told them that we basically you are our priority and we told them all of these different things that'll make them feel good and secure they're going to continue wanting to work with you because you're bringing them business and someone who is bringing them business is of value to them that's why she in turn said let's continue this forward and let's get some more units for you and then i pretty much told her actually we're going to be getting three more in june so hold that thought um but in a nutshell happy ending to this video i'm, I'm sorry that i took so long to <laughs> express all of this i'll probably chop it up in, in post-production but um, i think it's information that you guys should know simply because of the fact a lot of you are scared because of this and i'm not gonna lie even though I knew I had all of my ducks in a row and I had all the paperwork and I did everything the, the right way, when I got that initial call, I was a little shook. I'm not going to lie because it's happened to me before and um, it didn't tur quite turn out like this. This is this is uh, completely different. The, the one that happened before is when we went to court and all of that. So this one kind of brought me back in that moment and that I had a little bit of deja vu, but... Luckily, I learned from that. And now because I learned from that, we were able to have this awesome outcome. And then because I learned from that and because it's now proven with this scenario, you guys can go out there and get your listings, get your properties and run with it. You know, uh, don't let fear stop you from chasing your dreams, whether it be with this business or whether it be with anything else. 
fear is the one number one conducer of straying you from what you want to achieve. So with that said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you at the top.